another Friday morning with Justin from Elevation Homes, who looks like he's ready to get it, get at it all day. <laughs> I want to pick up on the, uh, we talked about angling, uh, the, the home you guys just are building on Angling Road in Waterford, if people want to check it out. But I want to talk about the trades, because you do a lot of your own trades, do you not? Yeah, we, um, we've always been a, a, a sort of a multifaceted company, multi-trade company. I, uh, I, I firmly believe in, in something that, you know, uh, on, on hand transfer skills. Um, because it, to be honest with you, once you get down to the nitty gritty of a lot of, a lot of the trades in building and mechanics and, and, and so on and so forth, if, if you break those hand skills down and, and how they're, you know, the physics of them and so on and so forth, I mean, all the nuances are going to be definitely be different. But they actually will trans. You can actually transfer from carpentry to tile, to plumbing, to electrical, to drywall, and if you understand the little bits in between, you know the average kind of handyman can kind of do it all. And that and that's how the the, the jack of all trade was born. I mean, it was just a guy that that understood. You know the physics and mechanics of what he was doing in one avenue, and he said, "You know what? I'm going to try this and that, and maybe, maybe the tricks and the codes and that sort of thing. Maybe that stuff goes to the wayside the first handful of times. But then you start to realize, like, oh, okay, I, now I realize why that code's in place because this never worked for me when I, you know. <laughs> and 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 literally, you know, we've had uh, this summer we had our our uh, our mud and taper, who's only ever done mud and tape." And I needed help with concrete because one of the guys called in sick. So uh, <laughs> I, I said, Charles, you, you want to come in and do, do concrete finishing? And he's never done it before, never done it before, never done it before. And he was the best damn concrete finisher you've ever seen in your life. And, and, and again, it, it's, I mean, that's a very similar trade. Transferable skills. Yeah, but, you know, it's just bending down instead of, instead of over your head kind of thing. Right. And, uh, you know. And the other big one is is carpentry and, and tile and stone. I mean, it doesn't get any closer. And But a lot of carpenters will not even touch it um, and vice versa. And but, I, mean, I also, you know, I know another fellow in town here that is a carpenter by trade, but his, he, he's decided to go down the tile route, uh, you know, probably a better paying deal. But his tile is friggin' like unbelievable tight because he's used to putting together, you know, yeah. Miters on an oak staircase that, you know, are essentially invisible and he's just carried it to tile and, and he makes more money doing that. Right. So it's, uh, so we've always done it. We've always taught it in our, in our, in our company. We, yes, we have trades, but uh, yeah. we've always taught that in our company. And I know you've been really good over the years. I know that you bring on students and, and you're, you're such an advocate for, for young folks getting into trades and talk a little bit about that because I know how important it is to you. And like you said, you grew up in this industry and you've learned how to transfer those skills and into different areas. But for a young guy or young girl starting out, this is such an opportunity. They're in a golden age really to learn trades, aren't oh, they? Oh yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a big deal. And I mean, a, a lot, a lot of kids don't even realize the, the uh, financial potential at a young age. I mean, my, you know, I, I at this point, you know, especially with the, with labor and things like that. I mean, we we're uh, we're hiring right now, and we're we'll take we'll take anybody that's got as long as the attitude is there. I mean, I'll I'll put the money in to do the training, and and, and you know, in two years you'll be you'll be, be this multi trade you know guru. But um, we just had two students with us over the summer. Um, you know, a, amazing nineteen year, both nineteen, both like you know, super adaptable. Um, and they, they took to it in three weeks. I mean, I sent them to do flooring jobs on their own. And, it, and the flooring was, like, impeccable. And, uh, like, like better than, than my senior guys. And these guys are three weeks, never laid, you know, vinyl flooring in their lives. So, I mean, by all means, if there's anybody that ever wants to get into it, whether it's whether you, you come on board with us, you train us, or we train you, and you, you know, stay for a couple of years and you decide, you know, I, I'm going to get the entrepreneurial bug and do it myself. I mean, I'm okay with that. I mean, it's, you know, we'll just hire you back in as a sub, right? You know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> but you know, and that's how I, that's how I got started. I mean, I, I started with a landscape company. I, I was literally raking grass when I was 15. I got moved to the carpentry crew. I, you know, I was hauling wood, doing minor cuts. 
And by the time I was 18, I mean, I, I was the one that was doing the cabanas exclusively. And it was, it was only a few years later and I, I went on my own and, and that's, well, hence why I've been doing this for 23 years because from age 20, that was it. I mean, that, that was from there. And I mean, yes, there was lots of breaks in between, but from age 20 is when it happened. It's amazing too, because I think a lot of people have this perception and you and I have talked about this on the show is, oh, I can't do that. Right. But once you get involved and you're working with folks that do know what they're doing, yep. it, it comes easy, doesn't it? It does. Like you, you start to understand, you know, you can pick up the nuances. Yep. It's, it's the, like you just said, it's, it's the understanding. I mean, and most logical people, um, th they'll find homeowners included. They'll, they'll find if they, if they make an attempt, maybe it's not going to be amazing, but if usually three attempts and they can probably do, um, they could probably do what, say what I'm doing, maybe the finite and the skill, you know, the, the fine tuning is not quite there. I mean, that all takes time, but, um, mm -hmm. but a lot of these little home repairs, they don't, they don't need to be finite, to be honest. I mean, they, they just need work yeah. in some cases, right? I mean, especially, out here, to be done. you know, this is, you know, this is not, it's not New York city, right? So, I mean, it's, uh, out here, a lot of these little home repairs, it's, it's sometimes, you know, I'd love to come help you, but if I can't, maybe just give her a try. I mean, and, you know, you, YouTube is there. Uh, you know, the, the people, I'm yeah. most proud of these customers that I, I get there to go fix something and it's done. And they're like, yeah, I YouTubed it. I YouTubed it four times, but I YouTubed it yeah. and, and I got it. And I'm like, oh, frick, thank God. <laughs> you know, because I didn't want to do that pipe repair. Uh, one last question on the on the youth sort of getting involved yep. in the trades. Is there good money in it for them? Absolutely. No, it's, there's more, my, my two students that just left made more money with us in four months than they have had any other summer job. And both of them had been, you know, hacking at it since age 15. Um, you know, and it, because it, especially now, because there is, you know, a bit of a trade shortage and, and lull in, in guys that want to do this. Um, I mean, there's, it's to the point now where people in some cases, I mean, and this is exaggeration, but uh, they'll almost pay anything to get anything done because there's nobody to do it. Right. Right. So, exactly. So it, 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 you can, you can have a, a reasonable price price range that's going to provide you. And especially, you know, a, a, a single kid, a single, a single girl, single guy who's, who's just into it. I mean, I, you know, another example is I, I know a couple of girls that decided to get into, into drywall taping. And, you know, in my eyes, it's like, that's a female eye that, that really turns a good job into an amazing job because they, and they, you know what, they, they just, they tend to just throw that little bit, little bit extra time in to make that line absolutely perfectly crispy. And all the okay. female drywallers that I know, and there's a lot, I would say I probably half, of the guy of the people that I use are, are female. Um, yeah. uh, if I can get the girls, the girls come first. I, I will not get the boys first. I mean, because especially if it's a job like, you know, with somebody that's a little bit pickier that wants stuff, you know, really razor, um, I'll get them in and they, they, both of them make, and they're four years into this. Uh, they'll blow through, they'll do a production house in, you know, roughly, little over a week and yeah. um and both of them are clearing one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year and no kids oh, wow no <laughs> they both they both drive the most pimped up trucks you've ever seen in your life uh, i mean they, they, they act they're to the point where they actually they have they have money to burn right yeah they, they blow through these houses so quick and they get six or seven grand a house and then they're on to the next one on monday and by friday they have another six or seven grand and i mean you know i hate to tell you but two Two single ladies, it doesn't take seven grand a month, let alone a week, to live. Yeah. So you're doing uh, this promotion. You're doing all the colleges work, college work for all the colleges. But yeah, here's a, here's I want to throw this last question. And I'll let you go because this kind of intrigues me a bit. Yeah. So a lot of stuff I've been reading lately. Um, I can't even remember the subject, but it was talking about how entrepreneurs were talking about yeah saying this don't go to school do this because you need that experience first yeah. then go to school yeah. i just wanted to get your thoughts on that because 
it seemed what they were saying was you're more well-rounded in the field going back to school because you understand exactly what you're getting into. And you're just picking up a few points usually at school to get that degree. But that work in the field is invaluable. Yeah. Talk to that. Um, I mean, I have, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to upset a lot of people with this one, but. Um, uh Oh, all right. Well, we'll stop there then. I don't want to. <laughs> but, well, no, I mean, I'm, I, I'm almost. I'm almost to the point, honestly, in this day and age. Um, I mean, I love a great education, and there and, and there is a time and a place and an, and an industry for it, in my opinion. Okay. In in, but there are some things that I actually don't know if it's needed at all. I I think I think in some I got you, and especially in building construction, even in some management stuff. And you would think management would be one of those, but depending on what the management is, right? Um, right. It's it's almost one of these. Like I I told my my kids went back to school, and God God bless them. But I told them I'm like I guarantee in three money in three month or three years I'm sorry that um, that you could have your life set up without spending the money on school if that's if right. that's what you're passionate about doing. Now in right. one kid's case, you know he's. Um, there's some stuff on there that he, that they, you know, an employer is going to want to see a, you know, exactly. a great education yeah. for. You're not being a doctor yeah. on the fly. You know, you're not, no. you're not really, you're not being an accountant on the fly, but there's, uh, you know, there's other, other avenues, you know, real estate, investing, building, uh, you know, umpteen amount of things. I mean, I can't tell you how many guys I know that run million dollar plus businesses cutting grass, Right. Yeah. And they've done it for 23 years and they make way more money than I do because there's nothing involved. Right. Um, and, and the, you know, and, and here I am trying to catch up building these, building all these projects that, you know, sort of look fabulous, but I mean, there, there's so many little details in these things. Those guys have nothing to worry about, but fertilizer. Right. Right. And yeah. so, well. you know, so there, I, I'm one of those guys, like if it's, if that's your passion and depending on what that industry is, and again, it's selective. I mean, I, like I said, I've been to Ryerson for architecture. I've been to Sheridan college for, for interior design. And those were extremely helpful. Uh, especially, you know, especially the architecture one. I mean, you're not going to, there's, you can't get a number without <laughs> the education, right? You can't get a yeah. number without the education. But I mean, in my personal industry, if somebody wanted to get into, into the trade, I mean, there's uh there's lots of lots of people that that uh, that get a trade and then turn that trade into like something like real estate investing and and they actually they and they they never go I mean they never they never go through the typical education system and ev- almost every one of them is uh is it's a millionaire plus you know yeah. and that's not to say don't go to school kids but <laughs> you know. <laughs> In 2022, <laughs> there's there's other there there are other avenues. If if you can't if you can't afford to go to college, if you don't want right. to go to college or university, I mean, it, yeah, there's lots of options. Yeah, there's there's things that can happen uh, outside of, uh, of of you know doing the traditional route, right? This has been an educational moment with Justin from Elevation Homes. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. You have a great week, no eh? Problem. Stay out of trouble. We'll talk next Friday. Bye. I do. Uh, thanks for taking the time. I know we're a little off the subject today, but oh, no. I think it's so important for kids to hear it from somebody that's been down that road and understand that they have options. So yep. uh, have a great week, bud. Yep. Thank you very much.